So hi everybody and welcome back to Sound Range and Five Wheel Game Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 46 and in this video I want to make damage. What I mean with that when I start here my game, press here my, oops, press here K. We have already made this animation, but when I um, point to the enemy, I want to make damage. And you can see on the left side on the corner there is the word damage and when i turn here i make no, no it says no no it means no damage so here i make damage and here i make no damage and this damage implementation we are not doing now but just to set up how we could make damage and so we may use a very simple version in this uh, video because there are millions of different ways to make and implement the damage system the way we are using is just like this fire here we have a, a hitbox and when we are overlapping it we will uh, be able to do damage and when we are not in the hitbox we will not so what we have to do first is find our character in my case it's this one double click on it go to the viewport and here i am creating my own hitbox so here you go here to this uh, site go to add uh, right collision and then when you write collision there are three options i selected here the box you can select what you like and name it what you want and then you can see this collision here uh, we can drag and what i did is just drag it here in front and this collision box will represent the area where i can make damage for example if the enemy walks here is close to me i can make damage if the enemy is out of this hitbox here on the side you can see i will not make any damage and so on so that is the first step so the second step is now after you created this hitbox compile save then change to the event graph and what we are doing now is just um, set this up first of all let's select your hitbox again go to the details panel scroll down find on component begin overlap click on it then you have this node but do the same thing again select this one and find the other one on component and overlap then you have this one so instead of casting i use just actor hashtag we want to avoid uh, hard references because we don't need anything from the enemy uh, actor so use this one here from the other actor here just write this what i did here uh, actor has tag and then you have just to specify the tag which the actor has. In my case, I wrote enemy one. If you try to find this one, then if you want that this enemy here is this enemy one, then you go to this enemy class, try to open up its blueprint again. Let's dock it here on top. Go here from the enemy details panel, write tag again here in actor tag that's very important you go here press plus and write the name what you want and you can already see i wrote it here enemy one we can write here more so i don't make this one actually i just um, delete this one here oh that was wrong now i have to make it anyway enemy one so then compile and save and then this one here will realize this one. The next step is then just make a branch. I press B or you can just write uh, drag here out and write branch. This is this one here and connect this one to this. And from top you are connecting it here, just normal. Then you have this step here done. This is our check. And now what we have to do is after we check, this is the true part we will do something and we are doing here just uh, uh, this is just a recognition system what i mean with recognition system we just realized with this setup that it is indeed the enemy which we want perhaps you have not only one enemy here perhaps you have here other actors as well which are not considered as enemies for example i don't know an other actor which is just a normal animal which is walking here around and you say on an animal you don't want um, any damage which means this one here will prevent 
uh, this whole system what we have here will prevent that you will damage to an animal or something so it will just recognize this one enemy which you have specified here in this case all right so and then uh, our next step is we are creating here a variable so we go here in the variable section and I called it overlap actor or we can call it found enemy actor in this case perhaps a better name and then it must be a boolean because this is just a check and then you compile save by default this boolean should be without a tick which means at start it is false and then you can drag here in and set it we set this new boolean and in my case from the true part we set it to true then because now yes this is exactly the enemy which i wanted now yes and when you did this one the same you do actually with the other one as well you can see the other on component and overlap you can literally copy the whole thing with control c and control v and paste it here and the only thing what you are changing is this little tick here because you are end overlap you say uh, here you don't make a tick so here you make a tick yes it is and here you'd say no it is because this means you are not overlapping this enemy here so we have done the setup system and now we need just to use that how we use that so we already have our attack animation that was in my other video where i press k we play the montage it plays the attack and from this point i continue all right so from this point i just continue that was our setup and now i want get the just created boolean in this case i created this one you get this one and then we make again a branch again i press b here or you just write branch here you can write here branch uh, branch and then you find it as well and then you connect this one you connect this one and now what you have to do is on the true state this will our later setup for damage because the true means yes this actor is in our hitbox which we want the other enemy actor and false would mean no the, this actor here which we are searching is currently not in our hitbox so we have then set up the damage making and this part we make in the next video but to see if this is working what i just did here so this is the part which you should have now i just said here print string so you can say you see print string true means the enemy is in my hitbox damage so i made just here for test purpose this print string uh, string and so on you can do this as well for test purposes in the next video we set up the real damage and in the other one let's say here not no no let's say here no damage all right and this is a very simple setup you can see and actually there are like i said at the start there are a million ways to set this up different ways this is just for a demonstration purpose very simple straightforward perhaps not even super accurate uh, but enough for uh simple game and when we start now you can see i start here the game i turn to this what now you can see here when i press f8 he is in my probably in my hitbox and when i press now key yes now it, it says no no damage that's not good here it says no no damage here it should say damage so anything went wrong let's go back and see what happens now um damage uh, set true enemies so anything is wrong all up actor found enemy actor okay so the mistake here is uh i have accidentally changed here uh the found actor enemy i should use still the same so let's uh, uh set this one back so i have made this one before so you will have used probably the other one that was just for demonstration purposes but the setup is still right the only thing i have used here the wrong boolean i made before one so now we go back again play here press key now it should be in my it's there. 
now damage now no damage again now in my hitbox probably and now you can see on the left corner again damage no damage and it's working so a very simple setup of course in the next video we have now to implement this instead of using here strings we have to use uh, something like yeah how to deal the damage actually to the enemy actor and how to subtract then the health bar from the enemy actor and all this kind of stuff next video and you can see here is one more thing there are, like there are other ways to check if the hitbox is overlapping, for example, is overlapping actor, then we can specify this actor. Like I said, there are a million ways to check if it's overlapping. There are a million ways to implement this hitbox. You have not even used an overlap box. You can use ray tracing. There are a million ways, like I said, try to Google this a little bit and uh, search this, uh, which uh, one is good for you. But this setup is just for simple starters. I think that's okay. And if you have any questions like all time, write in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye, good luck and like all time, have fun and never give up.